Hi, this is Ali. I'm from SafeNet Health Technical Support. Uh, this session is for the Business Studio work. A few uh, notes and uh, comments about it. Uh, the Business Studio server is working closely with the SQL database, uh, and we have several application which uh, interact with the Business Studio server. Uh, the first and the most important one, of course, is the Business Studio application. Uh, which is used in order to create orders, uh, create licenses, uh, updates, etc. All these kind of things. Uh, and obviously this is done directly in front of the Business Studio uh, server and the database. But we also can use the envelope and the toolbox uh, to interact with the Business Studio server. But this is not mandatory for the envelope and the toolbox. Only if one needs to use envelope and toolbox to uh, have uh, the batch code which resides inside uh, the database. But normally envelope and toolbox can be used uh, as work offline with no connection to the Business Studio. Another important thing of the Business Studio uh, work is uh, the fact that it works with uh, the activation. So activation means that in the end user machine, the vendor application includes within it an activation API and this activation API would use uh, an internet connection to the Business Studio server uh, or the activation server if uh, someone has installed uh, uh, the two servers uh, in, on two different machines but generally speaking we call it the Business Studio server. So this activation API will use the internet to call the Business Studio server in order to provide it with a product key and C2V of this end user machine and then the activation server or the Business Studio server will return back a V2C which will be then used on the end user machine in order to activate uh, a provisional key, SL key uh, and to have it uh, a permanent uh, key. So this uh, um, work of or task of activation is done obviously via the internet, but Business Studio Server is also responsible to it. Now let's see data flow from an application, and application, as we said, it can be, for instance, Business Studio application uh, to the Business Studio Server. There is an SSL, a secure, store, a secure uh, communication, uh, and the Business Studio Server creates childs for each of the tasks that it is needed and this child uh, interacts with the database. Now this communication, the secure communication of SSL is also used uh, the other direction so uh, the information is uh, secured. Now talking about uh, the server, the business to the server, we have three, eight different components uh, within it, uh, they are listed here component which uh, uh, handles the login, admin, define, R&D, order, etc. All these kind of things are divided into um, different components. Uh, we can see them uh, if we go to the, uh, to the directory where the Business Studio resides and see a path, different path for each one of them. Uh, the server config configuration would be within, in, in, within the ASP SVR uh, CFG, the configuration file which resides uh, inside the directory of the Business Studio. And we have uh, several things here. One is the debug level, uh, which is by default zero, uh, but we can change it uh, into mostly into four in order to have uh, a more detailed information. We have also uh, ports that are used by the child port and the client port and uh, mostly uh, they are not the same, they are different ones. Uh, this is less important but uh, uh, for instance we can, uh, we can uh, define here how many uh, children will be maximum uh, and minimum. We have also ASP CLD CFG which is the configuration file for the, for the child and over here also we have the debug level and the port to be used 
which must be the same as the one who was defined before that in the ASP SVR. Uh, we have ASP admin configuration. Uh, here I can set, for instance, timeout, how, much, how long it will take uh, for a session uh, to, be, to have a timeout. Now, uh, finally, we have here numbers of errors that we can get from the Business Studio. If the error starts with one, it will be handler errors, uh, two uh, author authorization errors, uh, uh, for instance, seven, it's databases error. So not all the time uh, from this error you might uh, uh, pinpoint where exactly the problem is, but uh, generally speaking, you have like a, a more uh, elaborate uh, uh, information from the error from the number and uh, in order to see what is uh, what is the problem in such in a case where a problem is encountered thank you for watching